head over to our WJXT kitchen setup that we've got here. Erica Loveless is back in the studio and she is an amazing food blogger, content creator. And the thing that I love about working with her is that she breaks things down to a level where we can actually replicate it at home, not just those Pinterest dreams that we can never actually attain. So Erica, <laughs> thank you for coming back today. Absolutely. And we're talking compound butter. So I'm gonna kick it off with my question because I had no idea what compound butter was. So what is it and why does it matter in cooking? Uh, basically a compound butter is just butter that has flavor ingredients in it, flavor agents. So there's a couple different ways to make compound butter. Today I'm going to show you guys one method that I like to use, which allows the flavors to actually cook into the butter, um, and then we rapidly chill it down so we can form it into these beautiful logs. Um, but you can always start out with just some softened butter and then mix whatever flavor agents that you want into it. Um, you can mix spices, herbs, things like that. But I really find that this like melting and then stabilizing technique is really, really nice to preserve that flavor and allow everything to kind of meld together a bit. Sure, okay, so in a, kind of a fun way to break it down, are these like the fancy butters when you go to a steakhouse that they use? So I love that. So Absolutely. What's, what's our first step here? Yeah, so today I'm gonna be making or demonstrating a crying tiger compound butter. So crying tiger sauce, for those that don't know, is really popular sauce in Asian cooking. You see it a lot like served with steak and Thai restaurants. So today I've got about two sticks of unsalted butter starting to melt down here. The important thing with the uh, butter is that it's unsalted, right? Because there's a lot of flavor that's happening right here in all of these different um, ingredients. So I'm gonna start by adding um, some scallions, just the white parts only. I'm also gonna add in four cloves of garlic and uh, one serrano chili. You can leave the serrano out if you don't like it spicy, but I like it spicy. Yeah, we, like, we like it hot, we like it hot, yeah. Um, and then I'm also gonna add a few different herbs. So today I've got a couple tablespoons of cilantro, and I've also got um, some spices here. This is sugar and gochugaru, which is essentially a Korean red pepper flake. It's very mild, so definitely keep that in, even if you don't like the spice. And then finally, I've got a bit of lime juice and fish sauce. Oh, that looks amazing. Yes. Now we've got about a minute, so I wanna make sure that we get to what this interesting situation is over here, because yeah. I'm seeing ice in a bowl and I'm feeling like this is how we maybe start our log process. Absolutely, so once your ingredients have cooked in the butter, just for about 30 seconds, what I like to do is add it to this um, ice bath. And so all it is is just a little bit of water and ice and then you pour the hot butter mixture in. And the important thing is to keep whisking. What you don't want to happen is for all of the ingredients in your compound butter to kind of settle at the bottom. So as you whisk, the butter temperature will actually cool. So you keep whisking, keep whisking. Just until keep you, whisking, just keep just, whisking. Just keep whisking. <laughs> and then you ultimately, once you get kind of like a soft mixture, you can go ahead and lay it on some plastic wrap, roll it up, tighten it until you get these beautiful logs here. So I've got um, the final uh, crying tiger butter here, as well as an option for uh, New Orleans barbecue shrimp. I'm not sure if you've had that, but oh, it's Tabasco, that Worcestershire, blackening seasoning. And then here's a treatment that I like to use it. I like to use it with grilled seafood, um, also putting it on some beautiful steak after it's finished because grilling season, you know, when you grill stuff, you lose a lot of the flavor and sure. sort of the moisture. So having this compound butter is a great way to introduce some beautiful flavors as well as, you know, a delicious buttery sauce, of course. Ow. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, I am going to rant, like I promised, come over <laughs> here and share with you a little bit during the commercial break. Now, Erica, before we go, where can we stay connected with you and see some of your favorite spots around town? Absolutely. So um, feel free to follow me on Instagram or TikTok. And then all of the recipes that I shared with you guys today are available on my website. Well, thank you so much for sharing with us.